airfares have been climbing since the summer, and if you haven't booked your holiday travel yet, you will likely have to pay top dollar for your airline tickets. But lucky for you, you're watching the early show this morning because travel editor Peter Greenberg is here with some solutions. Good morning, Peter. Good morning. I, I have to tell you, I did tell you so. I know, I know you did. All summer yeah. long you were saying airfare is going to rise, and now they have in a big way. How and big? Big. Over 59% on some routes over last year. I mean, for example, Boston and Minneapolis mm -hmm. over the Thanksgiving vacation, $859. Ouch. Yikes, yeah. Even Southwest Airlines from LAX to LaGuardia, $900. On Southwest, you know what? Yeah. I even though you told me so, waited yeah. a little bit longer than I should have to book my Christmas tickets. Right. And I said, you know what, I'll try JetBlue because it's a discount airline and it was no cheaper. So not even the discount airline. It's anymore. the law of supply and demand. that the seats are filling up, they're gonna adjust the prices accordingly. What are some other things that are contributing to the rise? Well, first of all, you got fewer planes, fewer seats, mm. fewer flights, there's your capacity issue. Mm. But there are some ways around this if you wanna be flexible without having to be a contortionist. Okay, for yeah. example, if maybe you leave on a different date, I tried fussing with the date and that yeah, didn't Yeah, I'll help. give you an example. If anybody leaves on the 24th of November, they have no sympathy for me because that's, that's why they made the movie, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, <laughs> for that day alone. But if you wanna go on the 24th and come back on the 28th, as an example, the cheapest fare I could find on Delta Airlines was like $467 between LAX and New York. But on JetBlue, if you left on the 23rd and came back on the 30 that goes down to like 279. Yeah, I bet you had to leave like at six in the morning. Though. No, 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 just no? a different day will make a difference, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. What about a different airport? Yes, always look for those alternate airports. Milwaukee instead of Chicago. Milwaukee's like the secret third airport of Chicago. Well, that's a good uh, tip. Islip instead of New York. Uh, Oakland instead of San Francisco. I mean, you have so many different opportunities here. Providence instead of Boston, another favorite of mine. Mm -hmm. that, those airports really work. What about if you do, which everybody hates, but you don't go nonstop? You forego the nonstop. You route. can get some deals on the, on the one stops, but keep in mind that the airlines give you connecting times that are officially legal, but they're really suicidal. If they tell you that there's a connecting time of 40 minutes over the holiday period, you know what? You missed that connection flight since all the other flights are full. That's you're true. not leaving on that middle flight. You're stay, spending the night in another airport. So that's risky, give yourself yeah. at least 90 minute connect time or don't book that flight. All right, that, that's a little bit too risky. So yeah. if, if maybe you just can't afford the airfare, is there another way to get to grandma's house? Uh, there is. Believe it or not, a lot of alternatives are on the train. For example, if you want to go between New York and Chicago, the cheapest fare we could find is like $579. But if you take the train, guess what? 172. Oh. Right? And it's an overnight train. Tra it's okay. an 18 hour trip, but you know what? You don't have to take your shoes off. You can plug your computer in. It's not but, a bad yeah, deal. Yeah, trains are very nice. It's not a bad deal. And there's some the other. Bus? Right. And, and well, the bus is cool, too, because if you want to go between, let's say, Chicago and St. Louis, mm -hmm. that's an expensive airfare, like $241. But the actual bus trip, 56 bucks. That's great. So yeah. we've talked planes, trains, automobiles. What about you can drive? Yes, you can. But you know what? You've got to book those ahead, too, because the, the rental car fleets have been reduced as well. They took their cue from the airlines. Less capacity means higher fares. All right, Peter, thank you so much. At least you gave us some relief, even strategy. though we didn't listen it's to you. It's all strategy. <laughs> thank you. You got it.